the day, people, or crime fighters, as I like to know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it. I know, it's been a source of great hilarity since the fire brigade changed their name from firemen to firefighters. But I just can't keep it up. Sorry. Anyway, today's briefing, 22nd of October 2024. We're slightly changing it today, so we'll have incident summaries and then we'll have the assignments. So the incident summaries today, NATO tensions with Russia. A think tank has issued a warning indicating that NATO is closer to war with Russia than most realise, citing concerns over a potential large-scale offensive by President Putin. No shit, Sherlock, eh? We don't need the CID to tell us that. What kind of tank are these guys thinking in? It's self-evident, surely. Implications for us. Increased military readiness may be necessary. We require to remain vigilant regarding potential protests or civil unrest related to anti-war sentiments. Incident number two. Hamas hostage video. A new video released by Hamas reportedly shows the bodies of two hostages. No, not sausages. Hostages. Good grief, Peralta. Raising alarms about the ongoing conflict in the Middle East. This incident could heighten tensions within communities with diverse populations. We should prepare for possible community reactions, including protests or gatherings, advocating for peace. As always, largely peaceful protest is acceptable. Now, one close to my own heart here. Bitcoin prices have plummeted, leading experts to warn us of significant implications for the cryptocurrency market and investors. Now, you may wonder why I'm giving you this one, but increased financial fraud and cybercrime may occur as these individuals seek quick recovery of losses. I think we need to do a community outreach here regarding online safety and fraud prevention. I've affirmed that Bitcoin, despite my, my thoughts, is not a scam, but I remain slightly unconvinced. Can I smell soup? That, that's minestrone. And, and I think you've got parmesan in it, if I'm not mistaken. Schneider, what's in that cup? That's not coffee, is it? Out, get out, get rid of it, come back. No eating at the briefing. And before we get into semantics about drinking soup from a cup, and my book is still eating, and it's my book that counts. The ongoing trial against individuals labelled as merchants of death has intensified as authorities have ramped up efforts to combat channel smugglers. This case underscores the ongoing issues surrounding human trafficking and illegal immigration. We should be engaging with these agencies and collaborating with border control to address these challenges effectively. Now, a particularly tragic catfishing incident occurred involving a 12-year-old victim in America. It highlights the dangers of online interactions, the resulting in the child's suicide due to demands from an abuser. Now, remember, people, words can hurt this kind of, this kind of horrible incident. Um, it has brought out some recommendations that educational programs on internet safety for children and parents should be involved. But in my view, I think we as the police force should be attacking these people. We should be going for the predator and not telling people to watch after themselves. I think, you know, there's a certain level of protection that we should be offering here. And I think we may be remiss I would get onto cybercrime and see if we can step up our efforts here. Maybe even set up some sting-type operations. The government have informed us that they intend to release an additional 1,000 prisoners early um, to alleviate severe overcrowding. Well, worked great the last time, so why not? Eh? You know, the reoffending rate's been incredibly low, hasn't it? The DIO says crime rates are likely to go up. And I, I don't think anyone here is going to be betting against this. I think we need to uh, monitor those that get out and make sure they don't reoffend. And if they do, then get them back into the system as quickly as possible. The Met Office has issued a flooding alert for England. So we should coordinate with emergency services to prepare for potential flooding or public safety issues arising from severe weather. Remember, if you're out there, and on patrol, take your wellies with you. 
And remember that police cars are not boats. A Metropolitan Police Firearms Officer, Sergeant Martin Blake, has been found not guilty of murder in a high-profile case involving a previous felon, Chris Cabba. Yvette Cooper has issued a statement that states that the government is committed to working with policing to strengthen public confidence in the future. However, I'm not quite sure, one, that she needed to issue a statement in the first case as justice was served in a courtroom. And on personal note, I would contend that the government has done nothing, and I include preceding governments in this, but use the police as a stick to coerce the public to follow their direction. The police must remain apolitical and should be left free from government influence to continue policing properly, as is the tradition in this country. Now, this verdict may lead to public demonstrations or unrest. Law enforcement will continue to maintain open channels of communication with community leaders. Be sensitive if you're out there, people, but be appropriate in dealing with any unrest. So the big story of today is um, an incident that's occurred in Washington State with a resident returned to her home and found it surrounded by approximately 100 raccoons after she'd spent... 35, it's not funny, it's not funny people, yeah, okay, it's a little funny, after she spent 35 years of feeding them, I, I mean, what did she really think was going to happen? Having said that, she has said that it did get much worse over the last six weeks, um, but she was forced to run away from the raccoons who were all demanding to be fed and <clears throat> seek, um, seek assistance. So uh, mutual aid has been offered by our force and we will be joining the local the local sheriff's department on operation rocket to disperse the raccoons and no shooting them is not authorized no schneider raccoons are not a food group you can't eat raccoons and um, be aware that steve the dog handler and his dog wolf will be with us on this mutual aid deployment it's actually still to be determined if his dog is named wolf or it's an actual wolf. Do not approach this dog. It will give you 17 stitches quicker than looking at you. This incident does raise concerns about wildlife management, however, and community safety. Officers may need to engage with animal control to address similar future <laughs> occurrences. I certainly know of some people that are quite keen on feeding badgers. So the same thing could occur, given the odd 30 or 40 years. Now, in a similar incident, bulls have escaped a rodeo in Massachusetts. So eight bulls have escaped during a rodeo and were seen roaming a, a mall parking lot. Anyone who comes across these bulls, for God's sake, do not even think about running them down. Do you remember the shit show that occurred the last time? Even though um, we did prevent a possible carnage on a fast day road that night, it's come to light that a cat has managed to travel 900 miles from Wyoming to California, showcasing an extraordinary adventure and ability to navigate its way back home. I think the dog branch are quite interested in this because after last month's drug bust, where the dogs unfortunately opened up bags of what is considered a white powder and have since um, been unable to smell anything, and, and God knows what they're seeing, um, they haven't been the most useful. Luckily, our dog handler, Steve, his dog wasn't on that drug bust. It appears that a group of teens took a joyride on a New York City subway. They took an empty subway train, leading to a brief chase before they abandoned the train. Now, I'm not quite sure if uh, the transport police managed to get another train to chase them with, but the whole thing sounds... Rather dangerous to me. I think we should ensure that our trains are properly secured. In a similar incident, a co-winning youth was arrested last night in Kilmarnock, having broken into the bus station. It is thought they intended to steal a bus to get back home to co-winning, but was unable to find one that had a sign for co-winning on it. Possible areas of mitigation here are maybe actually having a word with the schools and telling people that they should maybe encourage critical thinking and um, using logic when applying it to strategies like taking a bus, even, even though I cannot condone anyone stealing a vehicle. 
Anyway, assignments. Good day, Habib, Peralta and Santiago. You hold the fort here. Everyone else on the minibus in 10 minutes. I'm shotgun. No hunt. You are not driving. I want to get there in one piece. So dismissed. And hey, let's be careful out there. <laughs>